Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Mesa Automation channel. In this session, we're gonna cover some advanced topic or we can say continuation of the last session. In the last session, we have discussed about the simple get API request and we just created one sample request URI and we just hit that and we just verified uh, it's working or not. So in this session, we're gonna go in detail of few things like uh, how we will get the response. Like in the response, we get some parameters. So how we gonna capture those parameters and uh, in get api so generally we don't have a payload but we used to send some parameters to get the details we have a database and a database i wanted to fetch unemployed details having an id one so those details i can fetch so id which we are sending as a one is called as a parameter so that param how we can pass in this so we will see and some common properties like uh, while working in the framework how we can reduce some uh, reduce few steps so that we can create some common function and some basic assertions we will see and let's get started in case if you are new to this session do watch my previous session so that you will be in sync and practice along with me so let's get started and uh, let me open eclipse so this is a session where we have stopped in the last seats in the last session in the last class where we have created one get api and that get api we have given a given one then so in the given we have given the url and the method called the get and the status so now we will see or we will continue the same uh, feature file so i'm just copying this thing just to maintain some differences so we'll see get api or i can say session just appending something here okay you can right click and do a pretty format right so this is the url of entire get api and when we hit that url and we are trying to get method called get api and then then for the get api we will receive status code 200 so this is the step and after that i wanted to capture entire response so to capture entire response or print something on the console or a report I can use one uh, keyword and and I can simply use print so this print statement will print the response or will print the details of our response into the report so the keyword that we need to use here is response right so this is the one we have to use and then after again we have to use print and this time we are going to get the response time or response status and print response time so we are done so I'm just using this three things here so let me quickly run this program so it is started you can see this the console is open here right it has executed so i'll just refresh once right and i'll just use this karate summary html so this will be in the under project you will find this target under target you have to open karate reports under that you will find the karate summary html right click and open with web browser right you can see here so all this is done it has executed and let's see so this is the second one that we are discussing right so here we're gonna print a response so this is a response that we are looking for and after that we're gonna see response status so get for get api we will expect 200 right and then we have the print response time so this is the time it has taken to get the response so all these details are working now and let me go back to the Eclipse. Now, for the same thing, uh, here I'm using uh, some parameters to get my user details. So like in this case, so you can see here, this is the users and we are getting two. So for this detail, uh, it is not referring to any of the value, but it is saying users two. 
okay let's take another api so that we will get some parameters like generally in the parameters we will see a parameter name and equal to a parameter value so such things we will see but here it is directly getting the details of the number two so let me go back to the browser and let me open this right and let's see for other get apis right so here it is using it right so we will capture this so we will take this api so we'll go here and instead of this url i'm gonna replace this url right now see whenever we have a parameters in our endpoints we will see with the question mark here so after question mark whatever we have are called as params so how we can get this so before that let me quickly execute it let's see whether our api is getting executed or not right all done right let me open report i think report open in some other different browser okay so it is working fine you can see all details are in green and you can see two r pass which are showing in the green color and go back to the eclipse again now this is the parameter i wanted to uh, use this parameter and uh, i wanted to dynamically update or pass the values based on my usage so for that i'll just remove this so which is page equal to two right so for that we can just simply use param right so param we have to use before hitting the when method so this is a when right so when we are using a get method so before that we have to hit the param so here i'm going to use then method so we have to use param and params equal to or params space page so page equal to two so this is the value we have to print here so the page generally we have given in this section right in the end point so the page is two and i'm gonna simply use a pretty format and simply execute this feature file again right right it has performed let me go to this report and refresh right it has executed you can see the param2 is passed in that value and we're gonna see all the details like this so this is the one way of using param or passing the parameters into our end point so in the first request we are using url and this is a very long url that we wanted to uh, use as a as a global parameter like how we set in the postman like uh, environment uh, property or a collection property so similarly we can create one here so for that we have to deal with one keyword called background right so this b is capital here right so in the background we have to use this url or uri to be set as a global parameter so for that i am using a star here star and then we're gonna set this as url url and here i'm gonna reduce entire value from here to here so i'm just simply removing this value and i'm just pasting this here so now you can see uh, it is very easier in detail right like url has been reduced and all the steps are self-explanatory here so here we have to use one more correction here which is called as path like end point we have to call as a path and the url is dealing here which is a generally uri so we are mentioning as a url and the background and we just simply execute again one more time let's see whether this is working or not and if any error comes we have to check in the report in the console log it will keep on run and it will give all the details and if you go to the report and refresh now this time you can see there is one again run uh, you have to open the second one 
under that you have this background right so in the background we have set url equal to value so this is the value which is a host details value and in the given we have provided the path users i mean path endpoint and come back here so generally uh, whatever common things that you see you have to set in the background condition like background is something whenever we run any scenario or multiple scenario this background will be common for all the scenarios so here i have not used in the first uh, uh, example but in the second example it has been used right so for that reason we are seeing the response which is in the green status right now let's see some assertions here so before we get into assertions we have to uh, deal with uh, json right so as we are using a rest apis here so all the details that we see are based on the rest you can see here so we have got this is the uh, json for the response and uh, let me copy this response right so if you go to any browser and type for json path evaluator so this is a json path evaluator we can find different different uh, json path uh, evaluator but this one will give you uh, we have to write our own uh, json path in some tools it will automatically generate the path you can use that in case if you are a very beginner but i recommend you all to use this kind of uh, online tool where we can write our own path so where we can simply go here and try to write our path based on the the response json we have so i have pasted our response in this page so i will share this link in the description you can find from there and now how to traverse into the path so i will show you how to traverse into the path so everything starts with the root node which is here we have to deal with dollar symbol so when we type the dollar symbol we will get entire response as a control now under that i wanted to go into one particular thing so for example i wanted to go into data so here we have a data and under data we have multiple uh, blocks here you can see here we have multiple blocks this is one block this is one block so in the data it will be represented as array type of value so this is a zeroth value this is a first value index and this is a second value index likewise based on the indexes it will display like this so i wanted to check only zeroth index is coming or not so like this i get this under that again you wanted to uh, see uh, email or anything that you wanted to verify like in my case i wanted to verify id id so id is coming or not so i will copy this value so this is one path we have got now go back to the eclipse now how to set the or how to verify uh, add assertions towards our api request so for that i will use then statement so then I wanted to match match so we're gonna use response dot so whatever value we got right you have to paste like this and I can remove this dollar from here so instead of dollar response will be uh, responsible to start from the root node right so this I don't know which ID I may get in the zeroth index. So I wanted to verify that shouldn't be a null. So for that I'm verifying it shouldn't be null. Right. Then second statement I wanted to use match. This time I wanted to use complete dollar symbol and in the end I wanted to verify email. Right. I wanted to see email email equals this is the email address right so I wanted to verify this email address right quickly save and I will again run this program so I'm just showing only two so you can practice more and you can 
write me if you get any errors in the comment section i will help you out in the finding the right assertion path so it is done and go to the browser again refresh so there we have got one error so here it is saying so here we have done one spelling mistake so that i will correct it and then in the last thing so it is trying to match but it is not found so in the value it is not found there so let me correct this value first so this is the response and let me remove this string kind of okay let me again rerun right it has done execution and i just re-verified it right so i am trying to find uh, id it shouldn't be null every time i have to get something in there uh, so it has passed and the second value it has given error doubt so the reason is i'm expecting this value there but it is saying found an error syntactical error uh, i think we have to give in a string format let me give in a string format so that let me see the value which we are getting is same or not so we are getting the same value the, right so we are getting the same value but let me correct the syntax right it has done execution right now we have got the assertions got executed so i have used a single quotation earlier and then we have removed the quotation and we have given directly the string value but i have now uh, put it in a double quotation it has worked fine so this is how we maintain the assertions or using a match keyword and you can use the assert as well in place of match and you can keep on practice more uh, based on your api response and you can refer to this uh, json path evaluator where you can manually write as per agenda we have discussed about how to get the response parameter usages and some common properties like um, background we have used here and some basic assertions so we have performed assertions so whatever assertions we have we have to perform like this in a simple way and the next session we're going to see more about how we can go with the different api request response and how we manage to get or put the payload and get the response using a different approaches we'll see in that in detail i hope this session is helpful for you and in case if you have any questions queries you can post in my comment section i will help you out and if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with a colleague thank you for watching